Today we are going to visit the past, the present, and the future as we hear from Linda about her opinions on the Survivor Diet. At first, she felt like this. It's not stupid, it just doesn't seem healthy because it's not balanced at all. I don't think you're getting sufficient nutrients into your system for 40 days that are necessary. And now she feels like this. This is not working for us. It's not working for anyone. This will be the final time you will ever see Dr. Doug Peterson on the Survivor Diet because I refuse to go along with this. But eventually, she will feel like this. It's wonderful. He's lost weight. He's eating better. Ah. I take back everything I said from the beginning. He may go on a Survivor Diet forever. today. Ugh. It's gonna be a tough two days. All right. It's not a very nice day. So I'm going to work. It's cold outside. We had a couple of days last week that were like 80 degrees and now it's back to like 50 degrees. Actually my truck right there says 43 degrees. On a positive note, I was driving over the bridge last night near my house and a couple of guys were fishing out there right in the river and they caught a big striped bass. So that means there's big striped bass in the river. We'll see if we can get a bass that would be really good. Um, what else? Not much else to tell. Just going to work, gonna sit there, a long day of work. Not that hungry right now, I'm feeling a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's Monday today and I'm back at work. I don't do a whole lot of filming on my work days and I just rely on my stored up food rations and my garden to sustain me. And I'm constantly thinking of new food ideas. When I do a lot of this sit down videoing at work, this starts to feel a little bit more like a blog and that's not really my intention. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of this. I'm just gonna wait until we have some more stuff outside to do and we'll show you more of that because my intention is to teach you guys some stuff about how I'm able to live and survive on the food that I can find outside. So no sense boring you while I'm sitting here at my desk at work. Boring. Boring. Here's my breakfast. Clams, asparagus, and rice. Mm, very tasty. All right, success. Are you, am I on? You're rolling. Okay, good. Yeah, you look good, Darlene. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I well, can't. I know now. This survivor diet, this has got to be the last time he does it. Lack of focus, lack of energy. It's just not working. He cannot continue to do this year after year. It is better off that he's fat and happy than starving and absolutely. No way. We can't have this in the practice. We need a dentist who is energized. He, he can't even focus. This is not working for us. It's not working for anyone. This will be the final time you will ever see Dr. Doug Peterson on the Survivor Diet because I refuse to go along with this. He's done over now. He's lost weight, but he's also losing, losing his mind. mind. It's just not conducive to, to our lives. It's not. The Things survivor will get does. better. It'll get better. Yeah? yeah. First couple of weeks of the hardest. If it doesn't get better, you're eating a pizza pie. <laughs> the entire pizza pie, because this is not good. Okay, I'm done ranting. A couple of the clams that I caught were pretty tiny. So, I'm just gonna eat those raw. A little clam on the half shell. Oop, dripping some nice juice there. The little bit bigger ones I have in the pot steaming right here. Mmm, sweet, tasty. Yep, those are all open. They're done. This one's pretty hot, so I'm gonna put it back for a minute. Let those cool off. All right, so it's clam dinner. Let me show you quickly. Clams in the pot. Guess I have to think, am I gonna go fishing again tonight or not? I think I'm gonna. It was really nice.
nice night tonight and I just got back from fishing. I didn't bring my camera with me, but uh, it's really nice. Went to the same area that I've been fishing for the past few days and there were bluefish there. So I ended up catching three bluefish. Really nice night out tonight. Uh, I was all by myself. I asked a couple people to go, they didn't want to go. So I caught the fish by myself, I did it. Pretty happy with this live well. It seemed to have uh, kept three medium-sized bluefish alive. Let's see if we can see any of them now. There we go. Next time on the Survivor Diet. Well, if a squirrel or a bunny comes in, they come in and start eating some of this right here. This stick falls, causing these other sticks to fall, causing the whole thing to come crashing down and hopefully trapping this animal. So let's see how it works. Hey guys, thanks for watching and supporting my channel. If you can remember to share my videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel, it's free to do and it would really help me a lot. Also, click that bell so that you're automatically notified when I upload new content. Thanks again. It's filming outside today because obviously I'm working. That's Kathy talking over my video in the background again.